Welcome back. I'm Chris Jansing. Tropical Storm Bonnie is moving from the Caribbean toward Florida, and then it could head for where all that oil has been spilling. But even if there's not a direct hit, work on the relief wells is already stopped and crews have been evacuated. The new cap will stay on the well, and robot subs will be the last to leave the area, watching it just as long as they can. Dr. Reese Halter is a conservation biologist at Cal Lutheran University. Thank you very much for joining us. Now, we know that this tropical storm is going to set this operation back, but how worried are you about the potential impact? Good morning, Chris. You know, as a conservation biologist, we're charged with trying to maintain the genetic tapestry on Earth. And here this morning, we're looking at three critters in particular. These plumes are going to be uh, pushed and pulled all around the Gulf. There's the giant squid and the, the giant sperm whale. This is the greatest predator prey play on planet Earth. You've got the 60 foot, one ton giant squid uh, versus the uh, 45 ton, 65 foot sperm whale, the largest brain. And these things are deep divers. And when they hit the uh, end, of the, end of the plume, they are covered with uh, the oil. They have no way of stopping and it's game over for them. And then there's the giant one ton uh, leatherback turtles that dive a mile or more deep that are after the giant uh, jellyfish. And they too are at risk here. This is a, a it's a shame, and uh, and we don't know how this is going to play out, Chris. Yeah, nobody knows at this point. That's a, a scary prospect. There was what we thought was a bit of good news from the EPA uh, yesterday. They had a study that said those chemical dispersants that were largely untested don't seem to be impacting the reproductive systems of marine life. Um, are, are you breathing a sigh of relief about that? Do you buy that? Not at all. Not at all. The, the, my colleagues in Israel uh, did work two years ago. It categorically shows that these dispersants are toxic. You're talking about two million gallons of dispersant that, and the rule of thumb incidentally is for every gallon of dispersant, that's 20 gallons of water, 40 million gallons of, of the Gulf is toxified. They're polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons. They're known cancer-causing agents. This is not good at all, and I don't buy the EPA's report at all. Dr. Reese Halter from Cal Lutheran, thanks so much for coming on. Thanks, Chris. Navigating the morning rush today and reports of a camping trip.